welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here in Paris and that's why I'm in a hotel room at the moment. However, before coming here, I was able to pick up two items from Anna Sui. These are it. This is the Anna Sui Eye Color Trio in number three and this one is the Anna Sui Lip Color 800 and these two are kind of recent releases and holiday themed a little bit. They're limited as well And I thought this would be a perfect item to review for this time. All right, so let's get started So first off we have this. This is the NSA eye color trio in number three So there's 2.5 grams worth of eyeshadow in here and it costs 3,800 yen so roughly about 30 um, $38 the packaging is very very cute of course for NSA um, they have the butterfly themed and the palette has this like little border thing here, which is very cute So there are four different palettes. This one is the third palette and it comes in a wine purple with dark green and a gold so I actually saw their palette picture before and I loved it so much that I had it as a theme for my nails this time so it was kind of the inspiration for this, slightly vintage, slightly Christmassy. So it's kind of perfect that I found this at the duty free shop because it was what I had going for the inspiration behind my nails. So recently Anna Sui's cosmetics line has their regular cosmetics line but also they started a new line called Sui Black and I believe this one is part of that line. It's more edgy and um, a little bit more mm, sophisticated, I think. I think their target is a little bit in the higher age range. A little bit more fancy. So the price definitely reflects that as well. In this palette, it comes with their little applicator. One side is like a compact lining brush and the other side is an applicator sponge tip. All right, so moving on, I also picked up this. This is the NSC Lip Color in number 800. It is a sheer gold gloss in a small compact case. I believe this is already unavailable. It's a limited item that was sold beginning of October and I was able to find it at the duty free shop. It came out in three limited colors and this was the only one left out of it. It's in their new like vintage case which is really cute. Unfortunately, I wish there was a mirror here for um, application but it's the NSC logo there. Basically, it's just gloss in a pot. For one gram worth of lip gloss, it was 1,800 yen. It's a little bit pricey as well. So for me, I buy NSC items because I like the colors. They're dark, mysterious looking and with a lot of different colorways but also the packaging is really cute and they're more I don't know I think half of it is aimed towards um, a collector's view as well they're all very cute and they all look very well decorating your space as well so I believe the price definitely reflects that like it has this sort of collector's feel to it as well as um, a usable product inside so when I picked these two up at the duty-free shop uh, they also came with this promotional item. If you bought more than $40 or 4,000 yen, I'm just roughly translating the price, but 4,000 yen worth of cosmetics, you get this uh, novelty gift item. So I was able to get this as well. It's a little bag charm that has a mirror attached. So this is really cute. I don't know. I'm a very big NSA fan, so this is a happy item to get. I think this is really cute. So let's go into the review. All right, I'm just gonna go right into this. So we have three colors here. Inside it comes with a little applicator tip with a thinner brush line. I'm assuming that the dark green part was supposed to be used for eyeliner, so I'm gonna use that for this. Um, otherwise, I'm just gonna go ahead and try this out. So today I'm just gonna try this on overall lid, line my eyes underneath with green, and then do some highlighting with the gold. Color looks really good overall, but I mean that's to ex be expected for Anna Sui, I think. I mean I have a lot of their eyeshadow colors and a lot of them, they all have this sort of vintage dark color with a very good color payoff so 
I always have a hard time blending with these applicator tips, so I think I'm gonna go in with my blending brush. It's pretty easy to blend. So I'm also taking a little bit on the blending brush and applying it directly into my crease. Now with the with the applicator tip I kind of brought my eye look down so I kind of want to bring it up a little bit all right and then I'm dipping it in again with my blending brush and bringing it a little bit under but not too much because I'm gonna add the green underneath and I think uh, just a little bit just to connect the whole look together but I don't want to like make a weird muddy color underneath so just slightly so far I like it it looks less red more of a purpley color than I thought because I thought it was like a reddish purple when I saw it online all right I think I'm happy with this I'm gonna go in with this applicator with the green now and I'm gonna go in underneath my eyes and line it underneath pretty color. There's like sparkles. It's like a pearly but kind of sparkly color. Very pretty. I might, I think I'll just bring it in a little bit on the top just to connect it just a bit here. But otherwise, I don't think I'm gonna go overboard. I do think you could use this to line your upper lid. Um, the colors don't seem to be like too mismatched, so it looks fine. I mean, it should look fine when used together. All right, so I'm gonna be using this smaller brush here to add a little bit of a highlight on the inner lid and underneath my eyes. Okay, so it's definitely a sh more sheer color than I thought it would be, but it's very cute. And this he always does a really good job on the sparkly side of things. All right, I'm gonna go line my eyes and complete the rest of my look and come back. Okay, so I finished up my eyes and I added my blush. Now, uh, I was about to add highlighter, but I think because this color right here is so sheer, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this as a highlighter as well. I'm just gonna go in with my finger. Oh, it's so cute. I don't know if you could see that in the viewfinder. Or, I don't know if you can see that, but... It's because this is so sheer and the sparkles are kind of... The glitter itself is kind of um, a little bit sparse. So, I think it works okay as like a sprinkle of highlighter. It's not necessarily pearly or anything like that but just add a little something. You can see it, I think. Yeah, well, my eye bags, I'm like really jet lagged, but um, you can kind of see this, the sparkles here. It's really cute, I like it so much. Okay, so I'm gonna add that <laughs> on my nose too. Tip up my nose just a bit. A little bit on my lips. So this is the Anasui lip color. I'm gonna apply this gold on top, but because it has no color, I'm gonna apply this purple lip color to match the eyeshadow. So my lipstick is on. I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger and... Ooh! It like moved the moment I dip my finger in there. Okay, so it's very, very liquidy. It's, it's literally gloss in a pan. Uh, I thought it might have been a little bit of a harder consistency, but it's kind of like glossy gel in here. Oh wow, I didn't expect my finger to shift the whole thing, but it's okay. Hmm. It 
Oh, that's so pretty. So you could feel that it's slightly thick on the lips. I guess that's what normal gloss is supposed to be. It feels a little bit oily, a little bit thick and a little bit oily. Not sure. It feels like it's gonna shift almost immediately. I guess we'll see how long it lasts today. Overall, I like it. Although I don't, I don't know about the application for this. I would rather see like a, like something in a tube. It, cause it just seems so. Cause you could literally just dig out this whole thing from this pan. But I mean, it's cute. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm gonna. Yeah, so it lessened the color of my lipstick a little bit because uh, it has a bit of a gold tint to it. It looks a little bit lighter. Um, I like my look so far. I wasn't planning on putting on eyelashes, but because it became more of a smoky eye than I thought it would be, so I put on eyelashes to balance out the whole look. Uh, Alright, so I'm just gonna wear this look out for the rest of the day. All right, so I'm gonna go explore Paris now. So, just finished eating and my lipstick is already gone. I think the lip gloss is definitely just for a final, like a good touch. It felt like it was gone already within like an hour or so, so. Uh, there's that. The eyeshadow looks pretty good so far. And yeah, what do you think by the way? I tried out the new Anna Sui eye color palette for my eyes. So pretty. Yeah. I can do it, so I'm on first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're at the Christmas market right now. Check out my vlog if you want to see more. But yeah, we're gonna. I think I'm just gonna end it up for this for now. Yeah. Alright, so it's been about nine hours since I've had this makeup on. I've already pulled off my eyelashes, but so it's kind of patchy here. But as you can see, the eyeshadow is still going strong. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but wherever I applied the highlight with using the sparkly eyeshadow, it still looks pretty good. It's very, it's it's still there. So the eyeshadow held on really well. Um, it, I mean, the green is a little bit gone on the bottom, but the top I think is pretty okay. I think the lighting here doesn't really do it justice as much as you can see in person, but. Otherwise, pretty good. Sparkles are still there. Highlight part is still there. Um, so the gloss part was definitely gone within like 30 minutes to an hour, not even. Um, I mean, it's it's nice, uh, but yeah. Otherwise, it's. I mean, I liked it, and it felt nice on. Uh, when I had it on, but I mean since it's on the lips, it doesn't really stay that long Usually, I don't even think gloss stays that long anyways to begin with so um, I didn't think it would last that long definitely would have to retouch all the time um, As you can see like I've already eaten a lot So like my lipsticks all gone too, but other than that um really nice I think so but I mean Anna C's eyeshadows are all really good and um, and yeah this was no different um, so that's it last check-in so overall for this eyeshadow I do think it's a good representation of what Anna C's eyeshadows are they're usually very fine very pigmented they last a long time and the eyeshadows I never usually have a problem with it and it's very very reliable and the color is definitely what you see is what you get um, of course this one though <laughs> this one was a little bit light the sparkle part usually the colors are very very reliable and it blended out really well for today this makeup look i was using a lorac eyeshadow for the base of it and i blended the the eyeshadow into the crease and it worked out pretty well the price of course is a little bit on the more expensive side. I mean, I'll definitely be using these colors for uh, winter because of the jewel tones to it. Um, of course, they sell their eyeshadows separately as well, so 
Um, if you ever want to try their stuff out, it's probably better to pick out colors that you do like. These all come with a rose smell for people who are kind of sensitive to floral scents that part is unavoidable because all of their cosmetics have this rose scent but for me i i'm okay with it their lipsticks are a little bit harsher for me i can't wear their lipsticks every single day but eyeshadows and their skincare line is all really nice so i really like this one now for the lip gloss, this one, again, this one is also kind of pricey for the amount that you're getting. The feel of it is not sticky, it's kind of an oily feel to it. It does look really pretty, but it doesn't stay that long. And it does seem like it'll be used up quite quickly. But I do like the case for it, like, it looks really cute and um, it's perfect for the seasonal look at the moment. I do like this one, but I don't think I'll purchase another one of these. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys enjoy this sort of review? Are there any other questions that you want answered? Let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!